Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I recently found this arch that hardly anyone goes to. It's not that hard to find. It actually has a name and everything, but it looks really cool and it looks like a great spot for FPV. Today I have to pack up a bunch of stuff. I'm bringing way more than I normally bring. I'm going pretty far from the truck, whereas normally I stay close to it. But today is gonna be a bit of a hike. So I'm doing this hike in the middle of the day and the light is probably not gonna be very good. So the goal of today, we're gonna to scout the area and then hopefully we can come back in a couple days when the light's good in the morning and get some banger shots. I'm not gonna say exactly which arch I'm going to today. So it took a little bit of digging to find it. And in the spirit of that, I'm not gonna name it. So I will leave lots of clues as to where it is, but you're gonna have to find it yourself if you wanna visit it. pretty steep part right here so it looks like I'm gonna have to throw my camera bag and the camera up there and then crawl up because I don't know if I want to hit my back on the roof and then go tumbling down that doesn't sound like much fun all right I made it but that was way harder than I was expecting especially with a heavy backpack it pulls you off of there um, and it took me quite a bit in fact I had to go back to the truck grab a ratchet strap so I could tow my backpack up and that made it way easier but that was harder than I was expecting but it is worth it check this out so cool So this was definitely a valuable scouting day. Uh, I definitely learned that my pack is way too heavy. If I can cut any weight from that, that will definitely help tomorrow morning. Now I know the path I need to take. I know I need to bring a rope. Uh, I need to bring some water. I could probably leave a couple batteries behind. So I have some pretty good ideas of what I'm gonna do when the light is just perfect. So now that I'm here and I got all my FPV gear, I'm gonna put one pack through. Uh, I'm gonna fly around, make sure the signal's all good and just kind of get some ideas for the lines because I don't want to be searching for lines when the light is perfect. I want to know exactly which ones I'm going to take. So let's fly one pack and hopefully it's not too windy for it. Okay, we got signal, we got goggles, GoPro's recording. Let's go, let's find some lines. All right, let's go. So I've seen some pretty cool lines already. One of the neat things about Moab is it has all these bumpy features up top. It's really fun to take advantage of those. Wow, this view. Look at that, you can see the river over there. This is awesome. Okay, this is already worth it. So as you can see, the light isn't great, but the lines are amazing. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. So there's a ton of lines here to explore. I'm curious though when the best time of day will be. Definitely not when the sun is in this direction. Not quite enough shadows. But look at all these swoops, they're so fun. They're like natural half pipes. And this is a great line. It's a little windy. Might be hard to nail it. Wow. Okay, I'm sold. This is such a cool spot. Yeah, this was definitely worth it. I've flown a couple arches now. This one is probably my favorite. So while I'm in Moab, I'm gonna try and make as many videos as I can. 
just because there's so many cool features. Unfortunately, I'm not here for very long. By the time you see this, I probably won't be in Moab anymore. But I'm just going to record as much as I can. Just a dream spot. So I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but this is not in Arches National Park, obviously. There are actually a ton of arches outside of the park. There's 2,000 arches in the park, but there's also a ton outside the park. They just take usually a little more struggle to get to. So one thing I've noticed because we're so high, there is a ton of wind. Oh, you can see the truck over there. That vehicle's passing my truck right now, so we're way up here. So because there's a ton of wind, I'll have to pick a day where it doesn't look like there's gonna be any. Mornings are usually a lot calmer than the afternoon. Oh, I can't get over it. This is gonna be such a great spot. It's good right now, so I can't imagine when the light's perfect. Look at this, this is so cool. Wow. Such great lines. The wind is really affecting. I'd like to go a little bit lower on some of these, but uh, it's blowing me around. You're probably not gonna see that because I usually put a little bit of stabilization on my footage just to make it cleaner. But, man, it's shaky. I might insert some of my goggle footage or some of the O3 footage uh, if it shows the shakiness because it's pretty crazy right now. It's amazing what stabilization does. Okay, I've picked a couple cool lines. I'm getting close to 3.5. I'm not going to push this battery too hard. So I think I will come in for a landing, and the next time you see me will be in the morning. Wow, what a great flight. Okay, this is an awesome place. There's so many great lines, there's so many great things. Uh, hopefully the next time we come here, we have great light, we have great wind, uh, we have a great time. So I will see you very soon. And just like that, we are back. So I'm here in the afternoon this time, a couple days later. I'm hoping the lighting conditions are a little more favorable this time around, but I guess we're gonna find out soon. And yeah, in case you're wondering, that's still a very sketchy climb, but at least this time I know the beta for it. Okay, so I'm back up here and immediately the light is so much better. All the shadows are in a better direction. The light is much softer. It's starting to warm up with the evening light. I think I am here a little bit early, so I'm probably going to wait about 30 minutes or so. At that point, the shadow of the arch is going to be a nice circle, and I think everything's just going to be laid out really nicely. So let's wait a little bit longer before we fly. Okay, it's been about 20 or 30 minutes. The shadows are much better. I say we put the drone in the air. Let's just see how it looks now. If we need to, we can wait a little longer, but I'm just ready to fly. This is such an awesome spot.
Welcome to HTX. Okay, I've already talked you through my thought process while I'm flying around here. So instead, I'm just gonna show you a highlight reel of some of the best lines from this area. So I hope you enjoy, I'll see you after the flight. What an amazing flight. I'm so happy I waited until the light was right. It's so golden and beautiful right now. The shadows are amazing. The arch is perfect. The textures are beautiful. This is just such a killer spot. So let me know if you enjoyed this video and this spot in the comments below. I try and reply to as many as possible. And if you're not subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? You've made it this far. I know 95% of you aren't subscribed. So click that button, do it, do it now. Click the button, click the subscribe button. All right, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.